What is up, everybody? Sparewood Gun here from Sleepless Night Studios with another episode on Kerbal Space Program, and I think we're gonna do it this time. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get to Duna if it's the last thing I do this episode. <laughs> so basically, some refinements to the radioactive rover. Um, first of all, let's turn those on. Two. There we go. Okay. I don't know if that actually stops the swing. I don't think it does. Um, so, a few things that I modified. I changed these thrusters, took the bottom ones off, except for the center stack. Uh, that's still one of the 50 thrust smaller ones. And then I put the uh, crane system, like I did before, with four nuclear uh, thrusters, so that that should improve our flight ability. And I also attached little RCS things on these. One there, one down there, and I think, no, I have two here and two there. So f four on each thruster set thing. And then I added a couple up here because I didn't know if these had other directions. Maybe that's why I couldn't turn. And it's hard to see, but I added a control module, which isn't doing its job very well, uh, to help with maintaining control so it doesn't rotate. Now, a couple of things. First off... Um, I forget who it was that said it, but someone, I think it was, alright, I don't want to get this wrong, I'm relatively certain it was Bloxy Man 22 I think, um, that mentioned when you quick save, you get the lovely little quick save thing here, um, but if you Alt F5, you can pick a quick save file, if you Alt F9, you can pick um, those files again. So. Um, you are correct, and I love this feature, thank you for pointing it out, because what you can do is Radioactive Rover Mark to Launch. Save that. So now, it says we're quick saving, but if we get screwed, we can Alt F9 and revert back to launch. Right? Right. Awesome. Now, now that we have that out of the way, we're going to plan out that way so that we can do it right. Also, I have been corrected. I did some of this wrong last time. So, wait, what is that ship? Oh, is that the one I just left floating out there? Yep, radioactive rover mark one. Um, so it's almost in a rotation with Duna. Dang, man, that was so close. So, I was told you need to have a 45 degree angle-ish, right? So you want this to kind of be like this, sort of roughly, give or take. I'm not that good with a protractor, so I'm going to guesstimate. But I had it wrong last time. I had um, Kerbin above Duna, and according to um, Harpery and Bloxy Man, I had it inverted to where you want Duna this way because it rotates like this, I guess. I'm, I'm, could be wrong again, but I'm trying to correct and I really want to get to Duna. So I think it rotates this way. We can speed up time just to double check. Okay, so see how it spins this way. So if you put it down here, by the time you launch, you kind of run into it. Is the idea that I have, I might be wrong. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I can't speed it up any faster. So what we're going to want to do, see, I've never done interplanetary. I always did the two moons. So I didn't know this was a thing. What does the map look like right now? Oh, I'm out of electric charge. Crud. Crud muffin. And it's strobe lighting. Um, can I unfold my solar panels without electric charge? No, you cannot. Well, thankfully, we have this handy dandy little feature. Okay, so roughly, I again, I'm not the best geometry person, but I think we have a pretty good angle here. It's probably not a 45, because I feel like a 45 would be up here or something. I don't know. We're going to shoot for here. But hey, check this out. We have a handy-dandy little save feature. I know. I love that, man. Um, I guess we're just saving in that slot. I don't know... 
Hmm. Let's... Okay, let's just do it this way again. <laughs> um, radio div rover mark to launch. Okay. So that should then let us stay where we want to go. So now we should be able to go through the process of, you know, flying and get where we want to go. So since we did all this last episode, I'm not going to record this. I'm going to just get us into position and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to speed this up again. And we are at our escape attempt point, essentially. Got this going on right here. Still in our semi-45 degree mark. So we should be able to do this. I have to drop these engines. We made it here on these two though, so that's pretty good. Oh, and adding those um, uh, Q and E for RCS control, great idea, by the way. Not to pat myself on the back, but that works very well. Okay, so it looks like our um, escape node is set up where we'll hit an escape route and then we can go from a solar orbit and try and get over to Duna. Which is over there. Hey, we can keep an eye on it. Um, so I think, since this is a two minute burn, that I will come back when we are done with that. Okay, so two problems. Um, I was going back through my other videos and comments about how to do this orbit thingy and realized I did the exact same thing I did before that um, I was actually being told it should be up here, not here, so that as I burn, I could have just run into it. I see it now, it makes a lot more sense. So, yeah. Oh, you know what we could do? So this is an encounter. I have it set up three different ways. Well, two, one I could do again. Well, we could try and do it again. So here's this one, but obviously, I think this was like a two and a half minute burn, and obviously Harpery is going to kill me, because <laughs> apparently having a, 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 what do you call it, apoapsis way out here is very inefficient, because you're going way out and slingshotting back around, there's supposed to be a lot easier way to do it, probably because I have it misaligned, but, you know. Now, this is the second way I have to do it, and... I can't tell what burn is what because I have two notes here, but what I did was I went a little bit out, right, and then I set up this node which is basically just a full retro burn. That's all it's really doing, and it closes the, the gap enough um, that we get an encounter. Now, the one thing I'm curious about, since I have this saved, is if we were to drag it here... Would it, in fact, be more efficient? Yes, it would, because we could go further out, which means less burning retro. I thought so, if I can get it to encounter. Whew. Okay. So you could do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this as RR Mark to encounter number two which is what I had. I love this new quick save thing. It is the best thing ever. So we could do this, which I don't know if it's efficient or not, but it would work. I'm relatively certain because basically you're doing an efficient burn to only get out a little bit here and then you're just burning back, but it's probably the same thing overall. And it's probably because I have it misaligned. Maybe, I don't know, I'm making this up. So I want to try one other thing. If I do any of them, I'm going to probably commit to this one and see how this goes, but we'll see in a second.
Okay, so I redid the entire flight because this episode I wanted to get to Duna. I know this if this actually manages to get up on what's today Friday, uh, it'll be really late or probably past midnight or something. But I'm gonna try and get it up Friday. But we have to finish recording it first. But check this out. I got us an encounter encounter that lasts for days literally five days we have to set it up it's a minute and 14 burn the smallest burn i've ever had trying to get to duna we do have a little fuel here and then we drop to our nuclear ones which means this is probably going to be like a 12 minute burn maybe with the nukes um so let's do a quick save speed up here so in case you hadn't figured it out what i did was as you can see where the planets are this way i took harpery and bloxy man 22's advice and uh i just went ahead and redid the whole i i loaded as you can see i have a whole nother number two set of everything um but this was the Mark One launch, and then I think this was the second launch. I just relaunched the whole thing. I did a, another time time warp thing, um, which was a great idea. It, it took a lot longer. It took like an extra half hour or something to relaunch the whole flight again. Um, but it was so worth it because we, we shaved off half of the burn time, which means half of the fuel, which means between changing the engines and adding the new ones and whatever we're totally going to make it if we don't do that okay reload okay take two we have 28 minutes till the burn the counter the encounter is set up correctly still so as you can see i kind of followed the little chart i forget what this is called it's a hair haran men hair hair hen i don't know I don't know, I'm probably butchering that. Somebody, smart, um, orbit, which is you put Kerbin down at the center, and then Duna, at the time you launch, should be kind of in this 90 degree-ish, over here in this region type of thing. It's a little closer because I've just warped time to move up, um, but yeah, it should be like here to there or whatever. Um, and that's what I was messing up before, is I was putting Duna here and putting Kerbin over there. And as you can see, it like doubles the burn time, so... I'm I'm hoping that I'm not um, driving uh, Harpery and Bloxy Man nuts this time. <laughs> I know they both commented on like, every time you do this, it kills me, because it's so wrong. So, hopefully I'm not killing them this time three two close enough quick save right there and burn now let's get into this menu because we're gonna have to drop these pretty quick when they run out of fuel oh five minutes that's not bad at all I was really expecting like a 15 minute burn Dang, with nuclear engines, that's not bad at all compared to that last one I did. What was it, like 20 minutes or something crazy? Alright, so quick save that, and I will return. Look at how much mono propellant I used, though. It was so worth it, though. It was so much easier to maneuver the ships around. So I'm going to pause it, and I will be back in a moment. So I have good news, and I have great news. The good news is we got ourselves an encounter! And that's no nodes, no nothing, no inefficient burns. Boom. Perfect. At least I think it's perfect, based on what I've been told perfect looks like. <laughs> okay, and the great news... BAM! Look at how much fuel we have left. I don't even know if we'll need this guy. We'll find out. Okay, so let's do um, radioactive rover, mark two, Duna, approach. Okay, now let's speed her up. So, 
that was a way, way easier way to do it. <laughs> like, I kind of understand now why everyone was so mad at me. Going, what were you thinking? You had it. You didn't even need this much fuel. Um, Sino, the nuclear engines are like my new favorite orbital engine, even though they take forever. They just, I mean, it's one of these orange tanks and four engines, and it took three quarters to burn five minutes and go from here to here. That's insane. And awesome. All at one time. Um... The other question I have is, will this approach, this whole 90 degree with Kerbin at the bottom and your planet over the right, is that only for Duna? For for all of you Kerbal gurus out there? Or can you use that on anything like Eve or Moho or anything like that? I'm curious, because if you can use that on anything, dude, we're like not going to have a problem going to other planets now, other than just having enough tech to do it. Whee! Check it out, it looks like we're gonna have an encounter! Now the problem is, how long does it take to slow us down? We're going 6,000. We shouldn't be going too, too fast, because we're kind of synced up with it. I think that's kind of part of the point of this approach. Bam! Okay. Um, we'll quick save this as... Mark. Oh, and I love this. This is my new favorite friend. Mark II, um... Doing a descent, we'll call this. Yeah, that, that that thing is like my new favorite friend of all time ever. Okay, um, and I'm over there. Now we do have our nuke engines. Oh! Whoa, now this is confusing. It has a moon. Should we? No. Let's go. I want Duna. I've been trying to get to Duna. Give me, give me that back. I ain't done with you. Oh, I hate this. Come on. Where's the thingy? I can't grab the handle. It keeps putting it. There we go. Okay, four. So it's only a five-minute burn too. Well, if this took five minutes of fuel, we'll be descending before we even need this, so that's awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and get into position. I can't believe, like, I have so much fuel. Now I get it. I, I, I hear you all. I get it. Oh, and I do have the ability to turn now with Q&E. Um, someone recently, like today had mentioned um, that the RCS has different controls. I believe that is true. I don't really know why, to be honest, but I believe that is true. But if you have the RCS enabled over here, um, your WASD keys work for RCS as well. Because that's why I'm not using the IK, RL, or whatever the other ones are at the moment. And apparently I didn't have any rotation thrusters was the problem why it wouldn't rotate. Because as soon as I put, um, what is it, these right here? Yeah, those, those side ones there. Well, I guess all of them are, are doing it. So the problem is, let me turn on my lights. I don't know if that helped. A little bit. So these tiny little ones right there, right where the mouse is, are, are the ones I had, but they were one directional. They just point whichever. So I put these on that are multi-directional and that that was kind of what what did it, if you will. That Whether it be where I place them or just that they're multi-directional, those let me rotate with the RCS. Okay, let's speed this up. We have a five minute burn, two days to get there. So... Okay, let's speed it up a little. Quick save. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. I bumped my other hand. Um, four minutes. Yeah, let's take that down. So basically five minutes. So let's do there. Good enough for me. And burn. Burn, baby, burn. 
Look at those beautiful nuclear engines burning so efficiently. All right, so I'm gonna come back when we're we're lined up for Duna. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I was setting this up right, and I changed my orbit a little bit so that I would come in on the lighter side towards the bottom, right? Just so we're not on the dark side. But as I'm doing this, I get an Ike encounter, right? See what I'm thinking? You see what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is we let this ride, do this encounter, fly by while we're encountered, do some science, send it back, then let this bit get picked back up, and then we'll bring it back in. That's what I'm thinking. So let's do this. My new favorite friend. Um, double uh, whammy? How do you spell that? Double um, impact. <laughs> I don't know. We'll go with that. That way if I want to come back and just keep burning, I'm already on target. So, scrap that. Quick save. Speed this up. Whee! Whoa! Whoa now! Wow! We were all screwed up. Okay. So we are now orbiting... I, why is Why are my frames down to 10? What did I just do? Okay. So. This is the Earth. No. Um, science stuff. Can we turn our lights on? Yeah. Mm, giggity. Okay. Uh, we'll do observe material bay. High radiation environment. Wait, are we in the sun? No, we're not. Over Ike. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. All right. One of those. Serve mystery goo. Why my frames are so terrible right now, I have no idea. Okay, got that. I can't do temperature, and I probably can't do pressure. No. However, what we can do, which we learned last episode, is... Where's, where's the hatch? Crew hatch. Lemony. Get out of here. Okay. Now we can't do a sample, but we can do an EVA report. Okay. Where's the hatch? I don't know how much you get in the difference of the two as far as that goes, but screw it. We'll take it anyway. Board again. Okay, now the resource tab open. We shall process the lab data. <laughs> Review the lab data. Transmit this stuff. And then we will set it to clean on our way over. Is it processing? Or is this transmitting? That's material study. Okay, the other one must have been the mystery goo. Okay. Uh, where are we at on our trek? Okay, we're doing good. Dude, this is awesome! We not only got to Duna, but we also did a flyby of Ike. The only thing we didn't get on Ike was a surface sample, but that would pretty much be impossible with the setup we have on the radioactive rover unless we flew by, dropped one of the Kerbin on there, but then they couldn't transmit it, so it would kind of be a moot point. Okay, transmit that. Yes, please. I don't know why my frames are so bad here for some reason. It does not like... does not like Ike. Okay. Wait, why is it... Uploading again. Was there two? Okay, done. That's what I wanted to see. Now, clean experiments. And we can move on. 
if I for the quick save. Speed up. I like that I found out um, through you guys commenting that you can use the solar panels while flying. That is brilliant right there. That's what that is. Okay. Are we... What is this? We have like a tiny little... It was like not officially back on track. Okay. So, this is our orbit. Man, frames, what are you doing? Okay, quick save. Now... Let's retract you. And actually, this should work out just splendidly. Because we'll get pulled in right about there, and we can pop the chutes. Okay. So I'm going to set that up, and we'll be back in a minute. Oh, yeah. We're doing it, baby. So, actually, we're only going 15 meters per second. I'm hoping... I'm not really hoping we speed up. Oh, yeah, we're going to speed up. <laughs> I was like, um... Oh, no, the planet rotates. Dag nabbit, I didn't calculate for that. We are going to end up, like, in the dark side of the moon. Or planet, or whatever. Um, I made a quick save before I started doing all this speeding up-ness. Um, but I am curious how much atmosphere this has, and if the shoots will work, like, on Kerbin, where you can just kind of, you know, fire and forget kind of thing. Um... Okay. Whoop. Wrong key. Let's get you lined up on the retrograde so we can slow ourselves down. I mean, it doesn't super really matter that much as far as if we can slow ourselves down because we're still on these. Oh, and I still have my lights on. Go me. Way to waste power. Luckily, I had my solar panels out. So we're still on this set. We have all of this fuel, but in order to drive, we're going to end up, like, dumping both of these. So it doesn't really matter, per se. Um, no, don't do that. Okay, so let's just quick save it. Um, altimeter would be good. 64,000 meters. Yeah, we got a ways to go. Um... I'm just going to test this. Like I, like I said, I've quick saved it, so I'm not super worried about it. Uh, 220. I misread that. We were 600 kilometers. Um, let's go ahead and fold these up. Just in case. I'm pretty sure there is an atmosphere on Duna, so that could pose a problem. But see, check this out. We have at least two biomes. Um, feel free to correct me if there are more than that. Yeah, feel free to correct me if there are more than those biomes. I can't speed up while throwing them. Dang, damn it. I don't know... Oh, I guess I could watch the atmosphere gauge. <laughs> I don't know how... when the atmosphere kicks in on Duna. You know what? Whoa. What the heck? Glitch. Graphic glitch. Um. Huh. Let's put this, like, here, maybe. That way I can just hit spacebar. I love that you can do that, by the way. Did not know you could just uh, move stages around mid-flight. In theory, this should stop us when we start getting... Jeez. This must be a thin atmosphere. Well, no, we're only 80. It looks so big from here. Um, I guess Kerbin's the same way, though. That it's 70 kilometers or more before you hit the atmosphere. Um, oh, gosh. Where's the atmosphere? We're going 1,000 kilometers. Not good. Now, I don't... Oh, wrong key. I don't quite understand 
But I've been told these nuclear ones don't do jack once you're in the atmosphere. Or something of that nature. So, again, feel free to... Okay, we're starting to get in the atmosphere. 26! Um... I'm just gonna... Wait, did that work? Having those on really isn't going to do that much. We're not slowing down that fast. Um, so, where was that? That was in like the 20 kilometers or something. Like, that was not that low. I mean, that, that high. That was not that high. It was quite low, actually. Save it. Turn those off. Speed this up. <sighs> Too fast! Don't do that. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna try this. I wanna see if the um, parachutes will work. I wanna see... Okay. Right there. 40 must be the atmosphere. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on this, maybe. Altitude 500, minimum pressure 1, 0 0.1, 1, actually, I can't read. Um, so let's wait. Wait for it. Screw it. I'm deploying them, and they can pick up when they can pick up. Let's do one of these numbers. We're all gonna die. Deploy, 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 deploy! We are coming in way too fast. Yep, way too fast. Quick load! <laughs> well, the good news is we got here. The bad news is we die every time we try and land. So, basically, I'm going to keep these on the whole time while we descend and see where we go from there. I will pause it and come back when we're in a closer location. Okay, so... I just in the last part... Um, let's turn the brakes on, actually. I, I unlocked these so that when we'd land, we'd have some landing. Now where? <laughs> we'd have some landing. Um, we would have some traction, is what I was going for. Like, you know, it's not landing on bricks. Um, I don't know where my... I guess it blew up so there's no marker anymore, but the, the can I dropped um, at about 30 kilometers was saying 21 away and climbing. And I didn't see at what point it stopped, but... Um, I'm finding... I don't know if it's this extra one or not, but these four are doing a really good job of burning off the extra energy. It could be because we're into an atmosphere that's denser, I suppose. That's the only thing, I don't quite understand the retrograde thing, it's it's kind of flying all over the place now. With, with this set of thrusters, for some reason, it's kind of going everywhere. Um, so these burn off pretty good, about a hundred or so, without issue. Um, I've been quick saving often, and I'm pretty sure... Where's... See, now we're actually going slow enough, I can kind of gauge things. You know what? What am I doing? Let's just stay in the center. Oh 
you know what it is? I unlocked the steering. That's why it's behaving weird. Like the controls and stuff are odd. Whoa, 50. That's cool. Okay, we are at 10. Going along at a nice little clip. Actually, if I timed it right, I wonder if I could do one of those like I did on um, Minmus and the whole land on your thrusters thing, but it may actually be a problem in this case. Um, quick save. Let's pop the chutes. It'll figure it out. I do like that. that there they go. Like, they kind of deploy when they're supposed to deploy. Which is pretty awesome. much the shoots are gonna hold like take as far as the um yeah that uh, as far as speed i don't really know how much it'll take the sudden stop impact um at this point i'm gonna save my what rcs i have left so i'm gonna turn that off guessing it has to get into the... Whoa. I'm starting to pick up a speed increase. I'm guessing it has to get to the blue. The, the really dense... There we go. Okay. Um, let's jettison that. Oh, gosh. Come on. 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 What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Is this, this isn't slowing down enough. Crud. Muffin. <laughs> Alright. We got this. I just don't want to jettison that so soon because the shoots aren't going to do that much. Got it. Okay. We got this though. We are on Duna and we got this. Can't see. There's too much smoke. than I meant to do. Crap. Crap. RCS. No. No. <sighs> okay. Uh, E. I need to roll. Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Dang it. Don't, don't start this with me. I'm not, I'm not doing a roll here. Come on. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Yes. All right. Put the brakes on. What's up? We are on Duna. We are quick saving this crap. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. First thing we need to do. Get out. Uh, Obald. You have the honor. Let go. And walk. Um, let's test the atmosphere. Ooh. It's actually quite heavy. No wonder we had a hard time landing. Woo! I agree. Look at this face. Um, let's see. How do we get a screenshot? F2. Uh, what's the screenshot button? Nope. Oh gosh, I thought it. I thought it turned something off. F1? No. Let's quick save this just to be just to be sure that I don't screw anything up. Four. Seven. Six. Where's the screenshot button? Nine? That's reload. Oh crap. Well, I got a screenshot. That's not how I meant to do it. Um, basically, I use that way that ends up messing me up. Plant that flag. We deserve it. This took a while. This was a long time coming. Okay. 
do not landing. Obald and Lemony. I think that's his name. Achieved. Oh, wait. Where? Is that how you spell achieved? I don't know. I'm too tired. I don't care. The impossible. Which was not impossible had I just paid more attention to what I was doing. 64. Keep that. Surface sample. 240. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Okay, this could be a problem. Crap. I didn't deploy... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is steer clear of these, jump, give myself another boost, get up here, line, <laughs> jump. Alright, cool beans. Board that stores that. Um, let's do a mystery goo. Wow, this is worth so many points. 200, are you joking? And I can actually do temperature here and pressure here because this has a atmosphere. It is amazing. Okay, um, now let's quick save this because I don't know if I can do two surface samples or not. But, if I can, that's a lot of science that I want. Up and at him. I still didn't deploy the ladders. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, take surface sample. You report. Actually, yeah, let's just do it that way. Alright. <laughs> Let's do this the same way. This this seemed to work. Actually work. I don't know without testing if you can stay in the air on Duna or not. Board. Boom. Shakalaka. Alright. Um, let us deploy less solar panels. We'll quick save this here. And review data. So we're recharging. Awesome. Uh, transmit. Science. Transmit. Science. Process lab data. Transmit. Transmit. Yes. Do it. Behold all the science one could ever want. Not really. I always want more. Okay. Transmit that. I am so interested to see how much science we actually get from this. It's got to be, like, mind-boggling. Okay. Now, I don't know about the other surface samples, because, you know, if you do a lot of those, you're just gonna get, you know, worn down. I know you can use more. Like, you can do multiple surface samples and things, but I don't know if it actually does anything. Yeah, like this. It's worth 172, but it's only going to give us 11. Eh, screw it. Whatever. It's not like I can do anything else with it anyway. Why is it processing the surface sample like nine times? Was that my fault? <gasps> Did I do that? Because it's still processing a surface sample. What is it doing? I really don't understand that. But check this out, we are on Duna! We made it, people! Okay, so I must have sent the surface sample like nine times, so we can just disregard that. Um... Okay. Clean experiments. And we will save this. Mark to successful Duna landing! Long time coming. But we did it. Alright, so we will leave this to charge, and I'm gonna go back and see what our science hall is. <gasps> oh my gosh! We have 896. We have almost 900 science points. I'm freaking out. 
Um, oh, that means we could get these, at least, and then other stuff. Tell me what I should get. I'm, I'm a noob. I don't understand some of this stuff. I don't have enough to get both of these. I want the very heavy rockets, and I want this. But, but, my plan is to take that rover and go up into that snowy cap part two. I don't know how long that'll take, but that's my plan for next episode, is to get up there and do some sciencey stuff. So, I'm probably gonna do this one, unless everyone says, no, don't do that. Um, but of this other stuff, I don't know what I should do or what it branches off into. So do let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. I know this is a little bit of a late episode. It might even be up at like 2 in the morning or something by the time I get it uploaded on Saturday. But I wanted to get it done. I was really busy this, this weekend or this latter part of the week. I don't know. Um, I really wanted to get it done and I, we got to Duna. That was like my biggest thing. So we achieve that oh one other thing is do let me know if that trick works for all the planets like putting carbon at the bottom and you know whatever planet you want to go to on a right angle if that works on all of them if not that's fine just let me know if i can use that again because that actually worked really well so i hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and i'll see you next time peace